Harry was furious when he discovered that Meghan had secretly hired someone to curse Kate. What's worse is that guy collaborated with them on the latest docuseries. Hello friends, welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Meghan is something that has always been beyond Harry's imagination. The honest and innocent British prince was hit with a painful punch when he discovered that his wife had secretly hired the founder of U.S. technology company Bot Sentinel, Christopher Boozy, to make malicious comments about Kate and William. The shock didn't stop there. Harry was really mad when he learned that Bot was the one he had collaborated with to sharpen the sharp knife that pierced the royal family. God, the guilt was doubled. A new teaser for Harry and Meghan reveals that Meghan Markle has hired a computer expert who previously made derogatory remarks about the Prince and Princess of Wales looks to speak. The creator of the U.S. tech business bought Sentinel, Christopher Boozy, stated in a minute-long tape that he has made available by Netflix this afternoon that it's about hatred. The topic is race. Kate and William, both 40, are aging in banana years, according to Boozy, a frequent Twitter commenter on the spat between the Duke and Duchess and the palace. More shocking revelations from the pair are revealed in the second explosive trailer for the 88 million pound Netflix docuseries on the Duke and Duchess's lives after they retired as senior members of the royal family in 2020 including Harry's claim that the royal family has a hierarchy. Christopher tweeted, I suppose I can officially say I am in the Harry and Meghan docuseries, following the publication of the blockbuster teaser. I want to express my gratitude to everyone that helped bot Sentinel's study and made it possible for us to make the targeted hate campaign against Harry and Meghan public. The Prince and Princess of Wales were the subjects of a tweet from Christopher last year, in which he made a petty remark about how they were aged. I apologize in advance for being petty, he wrote. William and Kate look older in banana years than I remember them looking in a recent shot. Since they have a team of employees that serve them well-mannered around the clock, I don't see why. His crowdfunded business has already investigated internet abuse and troll attacks on the Duchess of Sussex. According to research published by Bot Sentinel in October, only 83 Twitter accounts were responsible for around 70% of the online teasing and abuse directed towards Meghan Markle, according to BuzzFeed. A question for Mr. Boozy. If I got a high-profile job with your company, failed to carry out my duties, moaned publicly and often about my signing on bonus, moaned publicly and often about the luxuriously appointed home I'd been given to live in at minimal rent, then walked out without giving proper notice while still moaning about the company and implying very damaging things about the senior management years later. What exactly would you do? Think about it. His tweets sound more like hate than anything. This guy fights with anyone, not even his own daughter wants anything to do with him. I wouldn't doubt he gets a check from Archwell for his loyalty. William and Catherine are well-grounded, behave with decorum, and do justice to the royal family. Of course, all those taking pot shots at them, including this guy and the Sussexes, know full well neither William nor Catherine are in a position to answer them back. Life is all about being inside a person, not the exterior, William and Catherine have shown themselves many times to be kind and considerate and loving and have good hearts. They show this is what they say and do every day and don't pose for pictures to show the world good deeds. Harry and Meghan, on the other hand, only show these qualities when there's a camera about, so they get plenty of plaudits. That is the way of the world, with many actors always looking for an opportunity to award ceremonies. What a surprise to see Christopher Boozy. He has come under a lot of scrutiny in the past few months as his bot analysis numbers have been called into question, and I believe he's been sued and list too. His judgment is also in question with various odd comments, as evidenced by his making such a weird personal tag on William and Catherine. 
Firstly, not very professional. And secondly, why are you actually making a personal snide remark? One royal audience commented, I think they seem old because they can't wear casual clothing because of their position. If we saw them now and then goofing off in casual clothes, tousled hair and lighter makeup, without being styled so severely, they would seem younger. I have noticed that the princess has loosened up a lot, which suits her. I don't blame her for being uptight because the pressure to be perfect must be enormous. She is a beautiful young woman who was bordering on dowdy and mumsy for a bit, but recently her style of dress has shifted to more fresh and modern, which is a nice change. Another said, Am I fueling their publicity drive by responding to this? Maybe, but here goes. First, I would say don't criticize the Princess of Wales's aging. She looks good and does her job well. Secondly, as a member of the public who thought the British public showed support for Harry and Meghan, I was surprised when they started saying they were being treated badly and wanted out. Then I was more and more shocked as they put more and more statements into the public domain. There may be some truth, but I don't think there's anything like the levels they are saying in their drive to be victims. Eventually, I hope people will get sick of it. They could have genuinely done something to help the world, but they've just played at it to bolster their poor, hard, done by us act. The Prince and Princess of Wales will continue to carry out their roles with dignity, in contrast to Harry and Meghan Markle. Christopher Boozy is being sued for serious defamation by two people. He defamed them to try and diminish their reputations. He used his dubious so-called tech to support Meghan and Amber. Twitter didn't take his tech seriously. The other case is quite disturbing. He also owes his former landlady thousands, as he didn't pay rent and declared bankruptcy. All are in the public domain. This man has tried to shut down those who call out Meghan or Amber. He targets someone and then unleashes a whole squad to attack them. One insider stated, Isn't Christopher Boozy recently bankrupt and also refusing to leave his landlord's home? Nate, the lawyer online, is involved in a case against him, after comments Boozy said on Twitter. This man was paid by Amber Heard, wasn't he, to find accounts online that backed up her case. She didn't win, though, did she? Christopher didn't show up to one and is about to get a judgment. The other is ongoing. Both are for defamation. This guy has made some serious allegations about Kate and William to try and ruin their reputations because they didn't suit the narratives he was protecting. Think Amber and Megan. What do you think of Megan's dirty tricks on Kate? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.